This time on Pedalbox, we're going to do something we have never tried before. So come along for the ride as we try to apply some vinyl wrap to the GTO. Last time working on the GTO, we went over a lot of the bodywork and we've established that some of it is beyond saving in its current state. The stuff on the bonnet, definitely gonna need repainting. The stuff going up the A-pillars onto the roof definitely needs some work because there are a couple of bald spots that have gone right the way down to the primer. And as much as I would like to put this back to just plain red everywhere, there is another modification that I quite fancy doing and that Adrian, the previous, other Adrian, the previous owner of this, was also thinking about. And that is making the whole roof kind of glass area a big black dome. So we have some proper 3M vinyl wrap with the air channels and everything to try and make us not look like cretins putting this on. And we're gonna try and put this on all of the pillars above the door and do a couple of other clean bits as well fix up these very faded wing mirrors. So we've cleaned everything off, we might as well get straight into it and cut a piece off the roll that will cover this whole section down here. Now we want enough that's gonna go right round as deep down into the crevice at all of the edges where it meets another panel as possible, but that shouldn't be too hard to achieve. Unfortunately, it is quite a, an awkward shape to this panel, so there's gonna be a bit of wastage, but that is unfortunately part of the game. So we're gonna try and get this as good as we possibly can. Well, for a first attempt, having never wrapped anything, let alone something that has multiple curves on it like this, I'm pretty happy. It's definitely not perfect. There's a couple of spots that I've gone a little bit too uh, close and you can see a tiny bit of red paint coming through, but crucially, didn't scratch the paint. Big win there. Unfortunately, did manage to tear the corner off the sheet. So I think I need to leave a little bit more excess on as I pull it down and then trim more off because that bit was just a little bit finicky to pull and get round. And unfortunately, as a result, I trimmed it a little bit too close anyway and this corner is um, still exposed, the plastic. It's not gonna reach all the way up. So this panel has to come off again, no matter what. But for now, I'm gonna leave that on because, um, well, it mostly went right. It's got a couple of imperfections, but honestly, for, for a first panel, yeah, I'll take it, definitely. Um, I'm gonna try and do the same piece on the other side. I was hoping to do this piece above the door, but that actually needs a full five foot roll, even though it's only a couple of inches long, which is kind of annoying. So I'm gonna have to buy another roll. I'll probably buy two more, because I'll need to do this one again. And we'll get some more thin strips out of the piece that we have. And uh, yeah, move on, learn, come back tomorrow with a fresh roll of wrap and do the next bit. Well, I'm going to need another piece of vinyl to finish off the roof, unfortunately. So while I wait for that to arrive, I've made a start on this rear quarter. Now, this wasn't one of the worst areas. The worst area is the rear quarter on the right hand side, the driver's side um, and the bonnet. Now, obviously, I've sanded over the bonnet already. And this side was really just covered in lots of very small kind of micro blisters up to about two or three millimeters across, some of them a lot less than that. And I had a feeling I might just be able to take all of that loose lacquer off the top and then just build it up in very thin layers of lacquer. I did a test on the bonnet in the uh, corner at the passenger side where I started originally, where it was very, very close to being flat, but there were still some just very visible dips in the lacquer. And I didn't want to go any further down because I was already lifting paint at that point. So I gave up on the 400 and 800 grit paper and I just put some lacquer down and then used 400 to take it back and smooth it off. And it actually worked really, really well. And you can't see where those dimples are. So I've been doing that on this quarter this afternoon and all the way down here, right up to the door jam, is where it was covered in these tiny little blisters. And so far, I've managed to eliminate basically all of them. There are a couple of little spots that I would like to go back over again, 
but I've pretty much managed to eliminate all of the tiny little blisters on it. Just gone over them with some 400, then some 800, and then finally gone over with some 15 and 2000, just to smooth it out before I put the lacquer on. Now it still looks a little bit orange peely along this area at the moment, and that's basically because it's just had the lacquer put on, it's just dried, and it's still got that kind of ripple effect. So once I put the 2000 back over the top and then buff that up, that should come up looking really, really good. Now you're probably going to look at me taking this 400 grit freehand to the bodywork and go, what on earth are you doing? But I don't want to, I don't want to do a wide area on this. I want to be very, very targeted where I'm hitting. So I don't want to use a massive pad because then I take it through a lot of lacquer that's actually perfectly reasonable. And I really just want to target these very small blisters, not the whole area around them. And I'm going very, very slowly and very, very gently with the 400 grit just take them back and I'm only using one finger so I'm not going to get multiple impressions and grooves I'm going in circles not lines back and forward so it's covering a big area and all my circles are overlapping and you might look at me and say that's never going to give you a good finish but frankly the finish I've already had under here with only one coat of lacquer on this has got the second one on as I say is still fantastic compared to what it was before and it is more than acceptable for what I'm looking after. Well, I'm super happy with how this has turned out. It's gone down really, really nicely. I was a little bit worried. You might have been worried too with putting lacquer on a hot panel in the sun, but having used the water with wet and dry, it's actually cooled the panel down. It went on really nicely and it wasn't too hot at all. But there was a couple of bits I had to go back. So I've done the entire panel with a coat of lacquer. The, some, there were some spots down this end where there were some chips and a scratch that the paint had been built up on, but it never been flattened down. So I took all of that back. So that now blends in really 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 nicely and the stuff I was just sanding you saw me doing earlier on the top is now really nice and thick with lacquer but I'm going to let this whole thing cure till tomorrow before I do anything else with it. There are a couple of spots that I need to treat down here. I've got a little run here and a little dip down here so we'll get those sorted and the reason I was quite happy to kind of go at this quite cavalier and very gung-ho is because this corner has a big chunk of rust that's uh, burrowing its way down or rather it's it's pushing its way up through the paint from the underneath so that's going to have to be wheeled off so I've got the um, paint wheels take all that back and then smooth it out obviously treat the rust and then repaint and lacquer it again so if I did have to redo this entire panel because I screwed it up I wasn't too concerned because I was going to have to put some paint on it anyway but now I'm really hoping that that piece of rust comes up relatively easily so I don't have to repaint the whole thing because I'm actually quite pleased with how this does for something that I was just trying to do whilst I waited for the other piece of vinyl wrap to turn up. I'm really, really pleased, but speaking of that vinyl wrap, it has now arrived so I can finish off the roof. Well, it's definitely not perfect. I'm really pleased with how it's come out. I definitely could have done a better job and I've learned an enormous amount just doing these small panels. I don't think I'm quite ready to try doing an entire quarter panel or something like that. Maybe they're easier than doing something with lots and lots of different curves. I don't know, I'm not going to find out. I'm just gonna try and fix the rest of the paint. Speaking of, I'm really pleased once again with how that wing has come out. It just needs uh, some time going over it with the DA and just polishing it off and that will look superb. So I've already started on this side, taking all of the peeling lacquer off to sort that out because this this wing is really really bad this is going to take some time so a few days an hour or so at a time just do this side the door generally work it through so if you've enjoyed what you've seen make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the little notification bell like the video and drop a comment down below with what you would have done besides 
paying somebody to just wrap the car and or fix the paint properly with a spray booth. If you'd like to support us, you can go to shop.pedalbox.show where you can buy t-shirts like the one I'm actually wearing and a hat. God, I'm actually properly merched up today. You can also support us at patreon.com forward slash pedalbox show where you can join us from as little as a dollar a month. And you can also get discount depending on the tier of uh, support at the shop for merch as well. We've also got YouTube memberships, which I've forgotten to put on every single video since I enacted them about six months ago, which uh, top work by me. And we'll see you next time.